Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are now back with our health and nutrition coach, owner of his own company, Parag. Sit Sanji, thank you for joining us here today. How are you? Good, good. How are you, Joe? I'm doing well. So you're based out of New York, New York, right? Is that the 59th Street Bridge behind you? <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, oh, it is. OK, I used to have a 59th Street Bridge hanging in my apartment in the city. Awesome. Well, good to see you. I love the background. You're looking good for those live on the podcast. We're also live on Zoom today as well. Parag, would you mind introducing yourself to our listeners? Yeah. So my name is Parag Satsungi. Uh, from originally from North Carolina, currently live in New York City, uh, started a health and fitness coaching company called Helm Fitness, where we take mat, we use math and science to um, help you lose weight and achieve your fitness goals. So um, we really build the program around your lifestyle. We accommodate for, you know, your occupation, your social life, um, the city that you live in, whether you're in an urban or rural environment. Um, and, and we use that to craft a plan that that's conducive to, to your lifestyle to help you help you achieve your goals. Got to find out more about you. Where are you from? I mean, I know already, but new listeners out here and plus are doing the Zoom. So I want to make sure we are well aware of where you went to school, which got your degree in. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Definitely. Yeah. So born and raised in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been a diehard UNC fan my whole life. Ooh, yeah, I went to UNC Chapel Hill for undergrad. Go Heels. I know we got March Madness coming along. Yeah. I think, I think we'll make a run. So excited for that. Um, and uh, I stu- I was in the undergraduate business school there, Keenan Flagler. Um, met, met a lot of great people, had built great connections there. Interestingly enough, I started out my career not even remotely in this space. Um, I I did, you know, a stint in investment banking. I worked in consulting for a year and a half. Um, and then I, you know, worked transition into like uh, technology sales, but along the way, what, what basically what happened was, uh, you know, I was struggling with my own fitness because I'm an extremely social person. You know, I like to go out on weekends with my friends. Um, I travel a lot, got a lot of friends and cousins who have weddings that we attend, and and it was really hard to keep up with um, with my own personal fitness. And and I tried all these different types of programs. I mean, I tried you know, doing these like, work, you know, like class pass, I tried Noom, I tried all of these different things. I, I hired a personal trainer. And, and the, the challenge that I faced was that none of these solutions really um, kind of took into account all aspects of health and fitness, which is going to be, you know, the diet side, the um, mm-hmm. exercise side, the sleep side, the hydration side. And when you're only focusing on one and not the others, you're not really getting the full impact. Um, and the other thing is that these programs tended to to treat you like you're living in a vacuum, as if you have absolutely no social life, as if you don't have a job you have to work at. Um, the expectations were just a little ridiculous, and it just didn't feel like I was able to meet those goals. And so I felt like there was a need out there. So I started working on it on myself as I started seeing results, felt like, you know, there's a business opportunity here. Well, this is cool because you say you use math to kind of take the guesswork out of fitness and you do. Now let's also point out besides the coaching, you also use the smart devices. And one of the things on your site is human coach plus smart devices equals results. Yep. Clear. Let's talk some about those smart devices you use. So it's an app or how, how does it work? Yeah. So basically what we do is we have a, um, the, from the smart devices standpoint, we integrate with, you know, Apple watch, Fitbit, halo, whoop, pretty much anything that tracks, you know, how many calories you're burning during workouts, how many step counts you're taking. And we actually pair that with, uh, with my fitness pal, um, on the, on the nutrition logging side. And so what we do is we then are able to take all that information and then make sense of it. And so, you know, right now, pretty much all of these programs are just kind of again, treating you based on some generic cookie cutter algorithm, what we're able to do is have really personalized insights into your body and the way that you react to different things. So taking in that information from Apple Watch, pairing that with all the food that you're eating, we're now able to then calculate how Mm -hmm. many calories, you know, how many calories you burn per day um, through just you know, your normal diet and exercise. And then, and then ultimately we can then manipulate that information and say, okay, I know that if I eat, you know, 1800 calories a day and burn 500 calories through my workouts every day, that over the course, over the course of a week, I'm going to lose a pound. Now that we know that we can be a lot more intentional about it. That's where the coach comes in, holds you accountable, guides you along Uh, the way, really, really presents 
presents this this kind of picture for you so that you know there's there's no really guesswork needed on your end how important is accountability and that's what you guys as coaches are there to do tell us about that yeah look the accountability i think is is something that i think is is almost underrated to an extent um you know for example like let's look at let's use something like orange theory for example with Orange Theory, they look, they haven't reinvented the wheel with, you know, the type of workouts that they have. You know, it's, it's running on a treadmill. It's, you know, um, pretty standard weight, weight workouts. Why they're so good at what they do is because you have that coach in the classroom that's yelling at you, that's hyping you up, that's, you know, you've got that community around yeah. you. So accountability is actually a very, very crucial part of, of achieving, you know, your fitness needs. Great. Now, how many coaches are you? I mean, I know it's your company, but how many coaches do you work with? Yeah, right now we have a a pretty small team of just just three of us right now. Um, um, but there's a decent chance, you know, you work with me. I try to take on as many of the clients myself as I can, um, because I like to really just get to know the clients. Um, I'm I'm really really hands on with the business. Like to like to work with the clients and get to know them and and you know. Just, get some new friends too. Yeah. You mentioned something important before about, you know, everyone works, everyone has life in some of these programs and diets. People don't have the, they don't consider all that, but you guys actually make a custom uh, nutrition plan as well for the person uh, based upon how, how do you determine that? Yeah. So the, the, so it's, it's, so what we do is upfront, we have a call with you. We understand your dietary preferences, kind of, you know, what your lifestyle is like, you know, there are some time, you know, doctors and nurses, Sometimes they only have time to eat two meals a day. That's fine. We'll make sure that we make the plan accordingly. Or there's someone who works, uh, working, you know, after the pandemic, obviously a lot of people have been working remotely. Those people can typically can afford to cook their meals more. So based on that, we're able to craft, craft a meal plan accordingly. Um, we take your preferences into account and we make sure that the meals aren't boring, right? We know that you don't want to eat just, you know, bland chicken and broccoli every single day. So we, we like to spice it up, put in, you know, a, a lo a loads of variety and, the other thing I'll caveat with is while we do have the meal plan, which is there for kind of the base case day where you just have like, you know, pretty standard day, maybe a Tuesday, you don't have any plans going on for like the Friday, Saturday, when you're out with your friends, you know, we're not expecting that you stick exactly to that meal plan. Okay, like, good. Cause I, I'd be guilty. I'd be like, I had a, uh, you know, alcoholic beverage, <laughs> Extra yeah, sugar. Yeah, I yeah. had a piece of cake. Yeah. We're not trying to restrict you from you know, right. having, having a couple of drinks with your friends or even having a cake on, on your friend's birthday, what we're trying to, what we want to do here is again, this is where we're saying we're very mathematical about it. We're not, we're not cookie cutter and, and assuming you live in a vacuum, but we are mathematical about it. So in on like the Friday and Saturday, if you are out with your friends, just try your best to stay within those calories and macros. And, and, and the reason why I say try your best is if you do go over what's unique about our program is that we have a corrective course of action. So if you're supposed to eat 1800 calories a day, but you ate 2100 calories, our algorithm automatically pulls that 300 excess calories into your workout plan for the week so that you can counteract it and burn it off. So this is where, what I'm talking about, where we don't assume you live in a vacuum. We know that, mm -hmm. you know, I don't even want to call it a mistake, but we know that life happens, right? We know that not everything is going to be perfect and you're going to be able to eat exactly 1800 calories a day and 120 grams of protein. Like we know that we know that at the end of the day, we are all human. We just put in a, a form of course correction on the other end of it so that it's okay that you go over, just make it up on the other end. Beautiful. And I love the convenience of, you know, just picking up the phone, texting your coach. You also do weekly calls as well. Like this is all individual sessions or do you also do group coaching as well? No, everything's individual. Look, this is meant to be, you know, a, a, a premium service, you know, white glove service. You are going to get, you know, personalized attention, one-on-one -on -one attention, no distraction of other, other uh, clients in the way and personal training as well. And I went on the website before and I saw there's all different tiers of programs. It's a monthly fee, right? And there's different programs in general. I know everything is custom, but there's the flex, the athlete, the all-star and the superstar. Could you talk about some of them? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, again, we, we want to make sure that we maintain the high quality of service across the board. So we didn't actually want to create programs that varied based on level of quality and service. Like the all of these programs are going to get the same quality of service. Really, the difference is, is just the length of commitment that you're putting in. So the flex program being the um, kind of it's a month to month program. Um, and then you have like the, the athlete program, three month commitment, all star program, six month commitment, superstar program, 12 month commitment. 
you're obviously going to get a more, uh, you know, a bit more favorable rate with the, the more months that you commit with us. Um, <clears throat> but what we found is that when people actually go in with this commitment that, look, I'm going to do this for six months, I'm going to do this for 12 months, you really get in that mindset. <clears throat> I mean, we definitely have some clients that are doing the flex program, but we, you know, th there's kind of the one foot in one foot out type of type of syndrome that goes on. And what we found is that the, the flex clients of ours that really like to continue working with us, they end up switching over to a six or a 12 month commitment. Awesome. And what else about your program that you want to discuss? Clearly what you're doing is, is beyond unique. It's like the first of its kind. It seems like to me, at least from what I've heard. So this is very, this is, this is awesome. Uh, what other things in particular, Parag, did you want to share? Yeah, look, the, the other thing is that uh, we, we have a big emphasis on, on kind of convenience around your own lifestyle, because again, you know, most programs out there, they've kind of set the tone and said, hey, you need to bend your life to us. We bend our life. We bend our program to you and your life. So again, when we have people who are working from home, you have the convenience to go work to go work out at the gym whenever you want. If you want to go at off peak hours in between meetings at 3 p.m., um, you know, so that you're not in a crowded gym, you know, you can do that. You know, you don't have to, you're not at the discretion of meeting your personal trainer at a specific time. As long as you get your work done or, or, or like, you know, hit your milestones and metrics, that's really all that matters. So you get the convenience of doing things on your terms and your lifestyle. Um, and the other thing, like I said, is, we're very transparent about the numbers here. And what's cool about that is I, you know, a lot of people tend to say, Oh, like I can never lose weight. I don't know what to do. I have a bad metabolism. I have bad genes. What we're now doing is, and I mean this in a positive way, we're now putting all the ownership back into your hands and saying, look, when you do X, Y, and Z, this is how it, how it translates into your body. So now you no longer can, sit here and say, okay, this is due to bad genes, or I don't know what to do. Now there's actually numbers and data to back up why your body is the way that it is. Sure. There are some, there are people out there who have better metabolism than others. There's nothing anyone can do about that. That's just genetics. That's just biology. What we can do is say, Hey, now that we know that let's now take this information and make sense of it and take action on it. So now you can look at it and say, I'm not losing weight because I'm not actually following the numbers that the numbers are telling me. You know, this is why I haven't been losing weight. But I know that if I do X, Y, and Z, this is what's going to get me to where I need to be. So, you know, I think most people out there like to have more control in their life. That's mm -hmm. why we named the company Helm, you know, being at the helm. We want you to be at the helm of your own fitness journey. We don't want you to feel like, you know, it's out of your control, out of your hands. And it's, it's, it's just biology failing you. We want you to be in control, be in the driver's seat and, and take control of your destiny. Now, could you share some of your clients uh, success stories without using their names, but give us some examples. I mean, are you working with moms? Are you working with um, dads? Are you working with people before weddings that, you know, what type of, you know, clientele and share some experiences if you don't mind. I think that's, yeah. it's good for us to hear the positive feedback. Definitely, definitely. Look, we have a, a wide variety of type of clients, but I will say that the market that we are seeing the most success in um, is, you know, young professionals um, who have who have a pretty big milestone coming up. So the two types of clients I've seen a lot of are are um, brides and grooms ahead of their wedding day, and then uh, men ahead of their day that they're going to propose. Because you know, when you go down on one knee, you get the side profile, so you want to make sure you have a nice. Nice, You're uh, right, and not that line. neck and that chin yeah. extra yeah. out. Got it. Wow. <laughs> um, and, and and what's what what I really like about working with with these people is that there's a there's a clear target, there's a deadline, there's like a uh, by this date I need to be in this shape. So I I you know it the energy of my clients gives me more energy. I it feed I feed off of it, and so um, I felt like you know the 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 clientele, the brides and grooms have been very you know, very all in on it. At the end of the day, you know, we're here to coach you and guide you and give you the numbers and all the plans that you need. But there is a point where where you have to then do the work yourself. And so, um, you know, and, and, and one other thing I'll caveat is we don't actually take on every single person as a client. Like if we don't feel that the client has a real, real true motivation to then go on and, <clears throat> and make the changes themselves, you know, we, we feel like 
you know, that, that, that they might not be a good fit for us because we really want to foster a community of people who are ready to actually make that change in their life. Oh my goodness. Awesome. I'm excited. And this is the time in mean, New York is here, you know, the spring is here. Uh, do you get a lot more clientele in the spring or do you deal with a lot of those new year's resolution people that really don't stick to them? <laughs> yeah. Good question. Actually. Um, I think, uh, this is probably, this is going to be my, uh, my second spring cycle in business. So, um, I think that there's definitely, I'm starting to see an uptake in the spring because summer's coming up. People want their summer buds and a lot of, like I said, a lot of weddings happen in the, in the summer and in the fall. So spring is the time that you really want to kick things up. Definitely get new year's resolutioners as well. Um, but I feel like the, the crowd that's still motivated in March, um, that that's a serious crowd. <laughs> and what about the pandemic? How did that affect things? Cause you were open during the pandemic, right? Is that when you started? That's actually when we started, um, you know, I felt like there was, it, you know, the timing was actually pretty serendipitous because I was actually thinking about this, this as a business, because I was working on this type of concept for myself personally before the pandemic started. And then once we got a couple of months in the pandemic and we realized that, look, this, the, the new world just looks completely different, you know, it, it started to, to become very clear that people want convenience. People want things to be on their terms. Yeah. You know, working from home has been a big trend that we've seen and, and, um, you know, not, you know, having to do everything exactly, you know, in person um, has actually opened up a lot of doors for, for people and people have been more willing to experiment and try, try new things that aren't just like the tr traditional personal training or, um, you know, the traditional workout classes. So uh, it's been, it's been a, you know, good timing. And I think the pandemic has been an accelerant for a trend that was probably already inevitable. And the fact that a lot of people kind of got a little heavier during the pandemic, w weren't eating, weren't able to go to the gym, weren't eating right. So there was a lot of yeah. us gaining weight out there. I'm sure that that was good for you for business. Cause now I think people really want to get motivated. You look at the positive from COVID to come out of it is like, wow, life is so short, so precious. Like now is the time to be our best selves. Why, why not? Exactly, exactly. Like, I'm, you know, and this is something I'll ask everyone that's listening out there is, you know, what, what, you know, what are you waiting for at this point? You know, I mean, I, I kind of had this one moment where I think it was, it was a new year's of maybe 2019, where I was like, man, this is the third year in a row where my new year's resolution surrounded around weight loss. You know, at what point am I actually going to just get it done and not have to keep making that a resolution that some distant goal that I never take action on. And, mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, uh, look in a lot of areas of our life, we try to find the best deal. We try to find, you know, maybe the free way to do things because look, there's always obviously a lot of information, the information out there to lose weight is there, right? It is there. And you can do this for free by yourself. If you want, there's no question about that. The question you have to then ask yourself is, Am I actually able to get this done? Have I actually done a good job of doing that? Looking back on it. If you have, that's great. If you haven't, you know, it, it's a good time to start working with working with a coach that's going to help you get there, motivate you there. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's other areas of our life that we use kind of quote unquote coaches to help guide us in certain areas of our life. And, and this, this area should be no different. Now, do you still get coached or you are the master coach? So like, you're good. <laughs> I, uh, I get, I get coached by my fiance, actually. She's, oh, good. Uh, she's she keeps, a, you, keeps you in shape. She keeps me in shape. She keeps me in check. Uh, if, if she sees me picking up, uh, you know, an extra cookie or so she'll give me, she'll give me the look and I'll have to put it down. <laughs> so, uh, I, I definitely, she definitely holds me accountable, which is, which is great. Um, so having kind of that, uh, you know, partner that, that, that's, supportive and and uh, constructive um i think has been been a blessing for me now helm fitness is the name of the company again you can uh, go to the website and you get a free consultation right do you prefer zoom over the phone well, how does it work yeah look, we can do it whatever the client's comfortable with we have we obviously have zoom we can do it over the phone but again another question i'll ask for the listeners out there is you know why not there's not there's no harm in signing up for a free consultation um it's it, it doesn't cost you a thing 30 minutes of your time you know, you're going to come out of that learning at least something about yourself and your body um, and, and, and at least some form of kind of next steps in terms of what to do, whether you choose to work with me or not, you know, I will give you some form of intel and insights that I think you can then take with you to, to uh, you know, move, you know, uh, move your fitness journey forward. What would you say some of the biggest uh, myths 
about um, diets are or tell us some like, yeah, give us some juicy stuff. What are some big misconceptions about, you know, dieting and what are the things we should be avoiding? Give us some inside tips. Give our listeners some intel here if you don't mind today. <laughs> Definitely. Look, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, I'll, I'll, I am don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I am very, very anti-keto. Um, I do. I am not a fan of of these type of extreme dieting. And explain what keto is exactly, because I'm not sure. even sure to be honest. But I've heard of it. I don't. I don't yeah, really know. Yeah, yeah. So, so keto is a is a, a low to no carb diet where you're pretty much only eating um, fat and protein. And the premise of it is, you know, scientifically, the way that your body uses energy is the first source that it uses um, is from your short term energy source, which is going to be carbs. Then your longer term energy source is going to be fat. And so what, what the premise of keto is that by not eating carbs, your body to do its normal daily function, because it doesn't have carbs it already starts burning from your fat supply. And so people do lose a lot of weight on keto very quickly. There's no question that the, the challenge is without fail, unless you stick with keto for the rest of your life, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, the virtually impossible to do you are going to gain that weight right back as soon as you do keto. And so the reason why I, I'm very adamantly against it is because I'm, you know, put, taking your body through cycles, like up and down like that is, is not good for your body. It's not good for your, even your physical appearance. If you're constantly looking like, you know, skinny, fat, skinny, fat, like that, that's, that's not good. So the, the question is, what can we do to be more sustainable? And the, it really comes down to just portion control, moderation, generally sticking to healthy stuff. It's, it's okay to have that occasional cookie, that, that slice of cake, having a couple of drinks with your friend. No one's saying that you need to completely change your life and cut everything out. It's just keep everything under control. That's where the coach comes in and says, Hey, look, I'm like, we're going to come in and make sure that you're, that you're, that you're on track. You know, we're not saying that you have to change everything under the sun, but just keep things under control. Um, that's probably the biggest thing I'll say. And then the other thing, the other thing is I wouldn't call this a myth, but it's something that I think people need to internalize, which is that you can't outwork a bad diet. And what that means is that, you know, I think a lot of people say like the, it, ironically, the first thing people do when they at new year's is they flood the gyms and they, and they start working out, which is great. Like you should, offer those sales. Cause they know half the people aren't coming back. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And you should absolutely work out. I am not advocating against working out. You should absolutely work out. But if you were to ask me what has a bigger impact on weight loss, it is definitely diet more than exercise because there's a finite amount of time in a day that you can, you know, it takes you 30 minutes to burn 300 calories, but it can take you 30 seconds to consume 300 calories. So you eat one donut, that's 300 calories. You can do that in a, in a minute, but you can, but it'll take you 30 minutes to then burn that off on the treadmill or the elliptical. So when you think about the fact that you have only 24 hours in a day where, you know, you can save 30 minutes of, of time on a treadmill by just putting down that donut. Oh, and, that's so much easier. I know, but like yeah. the vanilla frosting on the top of those Dunkin' Donuts. Look, I have a two kids, five and seven, so they love Dunkin' Donuts. And yeah. I can't help but eat some of their donut half the time. I'm like, oh, I don't get my own, but guess who's eating scraps? I get it. Guilty. I get it. <laughs> Look, I, I have I have a huge sweet tooth myself. Like that has been um a real, real struggle for me. And so, you know, moderation has been been key for me. Now, what about the liquid we're putting into our body? Clearly water is going to be the number one source for us. Got to kick the habit of soda. What about caffeine and how much water should we be drinking? Yeah. So uh, let's start with the water question. So with water, you want to be drinking about a half an ounce to an ounce of water per pound of body weight, which is, which is a lot of water. It is going to be more than you're used to, but the byproduct of doing that is, is not just uh, it, it's twofold. A, you know, when you drink a lot of water, it suppresses a lot of perceived hunger. So your body sometimes gets confused between what's hunger and thirst. When you drink water, you are clearing at least the signals of, of thirst. So any remaining, you know, hunger you have is the true hunger for, for actual food <clears throat> versus if you, if you didn't drink water, your body might confuse some of that thirst for, for being hunger. And then you'll, you'll eat a lot of calories. Um, so that's number one. Number two, this has nothing to do with the actual like weight loss side, but, but it's really good for your skin. Um, you know, you know, water is like the, the best hydrant for, um, um, for, for your skin and making sure you have smooth, clear skin. So especially people who have like, you know, acne issues, 
I always am a proponent that, you know, drink, drink water to, to clear up your skin. I think that's, that's the best thing there. Um, as far as caffeine's concerned, we, you know, look, I think it's totally fine to drink a cup of coffee. If you can start eliminating the cream and the sugar and drink it black, um, that's probably going to be the best. Or at least uh, get rid of the, uh, the half and half. I started using skim milk with my coffee, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or at least exactly like, and this is where we talked about, like, it's all about <laughs> moderation. You don't have to completely change everything, but start, you know, switching from, from whole milk to, to skim milk that these are the kind of changes that, that you'll start seeing results. And you start making these kind of changes over the course of all areas of your life. You're going to see, you're going to see a, an impact. Oh my goodness. So that's a, so now, so about, is this a myth then or not then? I, I remember years ago, I was told by my personal trainer, I used to have a trainer, I used to work out, I used to have a life for kids. Mm-hmm. Make sure you drink a glass of water before each meal. Yep. Cause it's tricking your body to feeling that you're full. Is that true? Mm-hmm. So is yeah. that, that, that's that okay to do? To, that goes to that point that I was talking about earlier okay. is that, you know, it, it, it eliminates that false hunger signal. And then oh, now yeah. you, yeah. Cause it takes like what, 15 minutes for your body to process, to really understand that you're full. So during those 15 minutes, usually when people just overeat, right? Mm-hmm, exactly. And then that's why you come out of it feeling absolutely stuffed. I mean, oh gosh. Like Thanksgiving on the couch. Oh. <laughs> I, I remember I actually, um, I studied abroad in Milan, Italy, um, when I was in college and I remember the portion sizes being so much smaller and you're like, <laughs> like why am I not like stuffed out of my mind and not wanting to just like sit on a couch and then at first I was like, oh, I'm getting gypped on my portion size. Then I was like, wait, no, this is so much better for me. Wait, and look around me because everyone in Europe, they're, they're thinner. They seem to yeah. be like more in shape than us Americans. Yeah, they, they, they have. I've been life. to Italy and I noticed everyone was thin and Paris and France. And I'm like, oh, well, that's why they, they have a glass of wine. They, I um, mean, and what about alcohol with this? Because, you know, people do like their alcohol. So can you still coach someone and get them fit, even though they do, you know, want to drink an alcohol beverage or two or three? Yeah, look, again, this is why I've said that, like, we have a form of course correction on the other side. Obviously, we're not going to be a proponent of you drinking yeah. seven days a week. But if you want to go on, on the weekends, like I still I still enjoy drinks with my friends on weekends. So um, as long as there's, again, a form of course correction on the other side of it, and you're willing to go spend that extra 30 minutes to burn off the, you know, you know, three glasses of wine you had or a couple, a couple of vodka sodas, then, then that's okay. fine. And those are some of the other changes, right? Instead of drinking really sugary cocktails, maybe switch over to a vodka soda, you know, um, um, these kind of changes again, no one, you know, we're not trying to, we're not trying to, to, to completely change your entire social life. We just want to help you reach your goals while still being able to live your life. Wow. All right. So let's remind our listeners how we can reach out to you for their free consultation, please, Prague. Yes. Um, come visit us at www.helmfitness.com. That's H-E-L-M fitness.com. You can also email us at info at helmfitness.com. And our phone number is 704-909-8307. So give us a call, check out our website, come to, you know, uh, email us, love to get in touch, love to work with you. And social media wise, where do we find you? Yeah. On Instagram at Helm Fitness NYC. All right, leave us with some uh, inspiring words for today because you know a lot of us are going to be like, oh, let's eat St. Patty's Day this week. People are going to want to drink, want to eat. Mm-hmm. Go out with your friends. Give us some advice. Come on, make us, make us uh, think a little harder this week before we do go out and eat poorly or drink badly. Yeah, look, I'll say this. Nothing tastes as good as being fit feels. You're right. Think about, mm-hmm. think about like inspire you on the beach, the sun, the hot summer sun. You want to look good, right? All right. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Thank yeah. you. Give me keep a picture of yourself like on your phone. Like when you look your best and just look at it before you yes. about to take that burger at that, that Irish bar yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Good well, idea. Put, put it on your, put it on your fridge, put it on your pantry. Perfect. You know, uh, just remind yourself. Screensaver um, on the phone, home and lock. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, well, one, of the th- one other thing that I do is I have my target weight written in big, you know, in big numbers on a piece of paper and it's, it's on my desk. So literally when I like when, as I'm working, I'm staring at that number. So okay. it's, it's subconscious. You're going to manifest it. Perfect. Positive thinking. All right, Parag, thank you. Helmfitness.com. Check them out. And thank you again. Are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the MyTuner Radio and online Radio Box apps for iOS, Android, and the Amazon App Store. Or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on onlineradiobox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Hold up. 
Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicapped accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.